I'm here today to bring you a haul. Now, this is all like free stuff, but it's not really free because here's the thing. Um, there's this thing in Canada called Shoppers Drug Mart and they have a really amazing point system. And when you get to a certain amount of points, you can redeem for money for anything in the store. And in November, they did this thing, which is like you got an extra $30 worth of points for the points that you redeemed. So um, I had a lot of points, you guys. Like I had like, $400 worth of points um, from like they do bonus points during the year and it's like it's a whole thing if you live in Canada go check out Shoppers Drug Mart points if you know about it it's amazing but anyway you know you do a you do pay for it through your buying habits through the year but if you're smart and you stick with like bonus points and stuff it works out to be a really really good plan so that's what I did I redeemed for a lot of free makeup in my Shoppers Drug Mart they have this thing called the Beauty Boutique. And they have all the high-end brands like Sephora has. Not all the same brands, but a lot of the same brands. So like throughout the year, there's been a lot of stuff I've been avoiding buying that I wanted because I knew this was coming up. So um, normally what I do with my points is I spend them all on other people for like Christmas gifts. But this year when I was in the store, I didn't really see a lot of stuff that was like stuff people I know wanted. So I just decided to like use my points on myself for once and uh, I'm pretty happy about it. First thing I got was the Urban Decay Naked Skin, um, what's it called? Foundation. <laughs> so I've never tried this foundation yet and uh, you know this is one of those foundations that everybody loves, everybody and their mother loves it. So I was really excited to get my hands on this. I got shade 3.0. I did this thing, I don't know if you guys know, but there's like these websites you can go to and you plug in the foundations that you currently wear in the shades of them and then it will tell you what shade you are in other foundations. So that's what I did. It said I was shade 3.0. Um, so hopefully it's a good match because I didn't actually try it in the store, but that's okay. I also picked this up. I've been wanting to try this and get it for so long. Like, So this is the Naked 2 basics from Urban Decay. I love the packaging. It's like very like soft and like it's not like hard plastic. It's kind of like soft plastic. Anyway. Oh look so pretty looking. And you know these are all like neutral shades which is perfect because sometimes you have like a palette or something and you're missing a bunch of neutrals. Oh so happy to get that. Um, and then I also got the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer which is another product that everybody and their mother talks about. So this is in light neutral. I'm hoping this isn't too light for me, but we'll see. It, it does look kind of light to be honest with you. We shall see. If you've been watching my channel, you know how obsessed I am with the Clinique Take the Day Off Makeup Remover, but I'm also obsessed with trying to find a cheaper, cheaper thing to buy because it's too expensive to be quite honest for makeup remover. But this is Vichy. Um, I really like Vichy. I've tried a few things from them. And this is the Purite Thermal soothing eye makeup remover so I thought I'd give it a try it's still not on like the cheap cheap end of eye makeup removers I think this was like $13 or something but still better than 23 <coughs> <coughs> you guys every time I go to the mall with my little my little guy um, I always buy him one of the little Lego minifigures and we have lunch together and he always likes puts it puts it together in the food court and stuff and look this was in my bag look that's one of the Halloween ones I didn't realize this was still in there it was so funny to look down and see it so we got that on our shopping trip too okay um somebody in a video mentioned these these are the Olay um what are they called four in one daily facial cloths so has a cleanser toner whatever it's like a cleansing cloth okay so it's got everything in it and you just wet it and then you put it all over your face and it does its job well I used to use these all the time years ago and I forgot what the heck is that I don't know what that is okay so I forgot that I really really love them and um, so I thought I got to pick those up again because I used to love them and so they're actually pretty big and I used to cut them in half so this comes with 33 but you can actually make it like 66 because you don't need a full one it's almost too much to use a full one so I always used to use a half one I was so thrilled to remember about that so yay for that okay I also got this pure 
eye polish. So this is like, um, they call it an eye base, but it's kind of like a liquid eyeshadow and it is liquid like it's not cream it's liquid and you just I just take it on my um, ring finger and pat it on my eyelids and that's what I'm wearing today if you can see but it comes in this little pot and opens up and it's got one of those little like springy things in it anyway I just um, I heard a few people talking about this and I really wanted to try it and it's the second time I've worn it just because I really wanted to try it and I'm pretty much liking it but I will be honest, I didn't like many of the shades in this range, so I don't think I'm going to buy any more just because I just wasn't a fan of the colors. But this color I like. It's like a really light neutral, so that was nice. I picked up a Benefit blush. This is Rockateur. This is something I've wanted for a really, really long time. That's what it looks like. I was debating between this one and Dallas, and I don't know. This one just went out in my mind just because Dallas is kind of more bronze bronzer and I don't really need that right now. But very pretty, right? A very popular blush that I had never gotten my hands on yet. I bought this. I, to be honest, I forgot I even bought this. Okay, Bourgeois Rouge Edition Lipstick in 18 Violin Strauss. And so that's what that looks like. So Bourgeois is like a Europe, Europe why can't I say European? European brands. And um, so they're all over Europe and in Canada as well. That's pretty, right? I should have worn that today. It's actually kind of similar to what I'm wearing, isn't it? This is the um, Bite Beauty. What is it? Bite Beauty Grenache Luminous Cream Lipstick. All right. I'm just like digging in. This bag is not organized at all, so I'm just grabbing stuff. I also got the Benefit Highbrow. So this is like, um, you know, you put it underneath your eyebrow to like, I don't know, carve out your eyebrow, I guess. This is just a product that I've never like wanted to buy because it's so expensive for what it is. It's $30. That's not worth it, is it? Like, it's really not. But I figured with redemption and all that, that um, it's something I've wanted for a long time, but I don't know. I've never been able to find like a drugstore comparable to this in Canada at least. I don't know if there is in the States. But um, so I just bought it because I've never been able to find anything like it for cheaper. So I just gave in and bought it. And okay, I got this Essence 3D eyeshadow because I was like $2 away from the amount that I had to reach. Like you have to redeem the full amount. So I just grabbed this. I've never tried Essence eyeshadows. I really love their lip liners and they have some other really good products too and they're super, super cheap. So that's what those look like right there. They're quite pretty, I think. I don't know what the lasting power is like on them so I will have to test that out. And then, oh yeah, I got another one of the Urban Decay Brow Beater Pencil. This is, I believe Urban Decay just came out with last year. It's been a favorite of mine since it came out. It's to me better than the Anastasia one, to me anyway. If you're a fan of Anastasia, go with it, but I really like this one. It's got a super, super fine tip on that's twist up on this side, and then it's got the spoolie on the other side, and I just really like it. It's what I'm wearing today, so I got a replacement for that. And then I got one of these, which is um, my favorite liquid lipstick, which is the L'Oreal Paris Infallible. I just realized I bought the tester. That's a big fail. Um, so I'm gonna have to go back and exchange it because I bought the tester. I don't know how that happened, but I will show you anyway. This is a very, very pretty, very pretty color. See that? So it dries down completely matte. In my opinion, this is the best formula of liquid lipsticks anywhere um, because it's got on this side this balm and it's completely colorless. Once this dries, you put this on top and you can actually have moisturized liquid lipstick. Who knew? Because that doesn't happen with my Kat Von D, that doesn't happen with my ColourPop. Those completely dry out my lips to the point where I like, I can't stand it. So um, this one is awesome. So now I gotta, I have an excuse. Let's just say I have an excuse to go back because you know I'm love makeup shopping. I have been obsessed lately with trying to find a really good eye cream. Um, I just, I, I have not been happy with my lines under my eyes. 
once I turned like 32, that's when I started noticing the lines and especially in the last six months, I was like, this is like overnight. It's almost like they just sprang up overnight. So anyway, this is like um, a retinol product. So this is the Rock Pro Sublime Anti Wrinkle Eye Reviving Cream. Visibly reduces crow's feet, fine lines, and wrinkles. ROC Retinol Hyaluronic Acid. So, um, as long as you're not like um, sensitive to retinol, as far as I know, it is like a really really good thing for getting rid of wrinkles. So I'm gonna try that. I also got these two nail polishes, which I am wearing. Um, this is the L'Oreal Paris. Color Riche Feline Sauvage. So this is from like, I don't know, some kind of special line of theirs. It's got like the um, leopard print on the top and it's just this beautiful green you can see in my fingernails. Beautiful like dark green. And then I got this Essie, what's it called? Rock at the top. You can see it there on my fingernail there. Can you see it? Yes. So, got two Rimmel and two Essence. So I was saying I really like the Essence lip liners. I got Satin Mauve and Wish Me a Rose. So let's see. Okay, so the darker one is Satin Mauve and that one is Wish Me a Rose. And then I got two from Rimmel. Rimmel ones are really like creamy and moisturizing. Um, if you wanted to like put them all over your lips instead of just lining your lips So this one is East End Snob, which I've heard many people talk about and I've always looked for it But I could never find it. So when I saw it, I was really really happy because actually it's like a really beautiful um, neutral color and then this one in Enchantment and Okay, and that's like a much deeper pink so that's East End Snob and Enchantment. And these ones have like this angled, I don't know, angled thing going on. So that is my whole redemption free makeup haul. But I gotta show you guys some other stuff that I got that I purchased. So I bought the Morphe 350 palette. Now, <clears throat> if you guys are on Instagram and follow a lot of makeup accounts, and if you're on YouTube and follow a lot of YouTubers, you know that this it's kind of a much hyped thing and I had never bought Morphe eyeshadows before I was very excited when I got it but to be honest with you I haven't even used it like I used it once so far because look at it it's completely fall appropriate right well because this was sold out for so long and I had to wait for so long to get it I didn't really get it in time to use it properly you know what I'm saying so to me this is like either like the end of summer or like beginning of fall type colors. I guess you can do neutral stuff with it too but I have a lot of other neutral palettes. So anyway it sounds like I'm complaining. I'm really not. I really do like it but I just feel like I'm not going to use it that much until next year. So unless I make like a real concerted effort which maybe I should. But anyway let me show you a couple colors. Okay first of all this color here is like the main event in this whole palette. Um, I'll show you this one here. They are very soft. They're almost like chunky, like falling apart to be honest. So I think there's gonna be a lot of fallout, but it's cause they're so soft. And then I'll show you this one here. See that? Oh, it's so pretty. But you see what I'm saying? Like this is like so soft. It's like kind of falling off here too. It's kind of chunky, but I think um, they're gonna blend pretty nicely. I wasn't going for the Adele look today, but I feel like I kind of got there somehow. What do you guys think? I didn't really do like the wing liner or anything, but I feel like I kind of got the, maybe it's the black turtleneck, I don't know. So I have never ordered from Tarte directly before. I was on their website one day. I don't even know how it happened. Like I randomly went to their website and they were having this amazing special on. And it was a one day only thing and it just happened to be the day I decided to go look at it. So it was fate. Anyway, they were doing this thing where you could get seven products for, it was like 59 Canadian, no 59 US or 71 Canadian, which is an awesome, awesome deal because 
the whole like value was over like $130. Anyway, first of all, you get this really like you could choose. The thing of it was you could choose like from each category. It wasn't just seven things. It was like choose one makeup bag, choose one foundation, choose one brush, choose one this and that. So it was really cool because you got to choose what you wanted to try. So first of all, this is like all textured and like it's very pretty, right? That's purple and gold. I actually really like it. I don't travel enough to really use a lot of makeup bags. So honestly, mine kind of sit there doing nothing, but they are beautiful. Um, okay, so this is the, what is it? Amazonian Clay Full Coverage Airbrush Foundation. Yeah, it's like a loose powder. You know, I haven't taken this thing off yet, but it's like a loose powder and you just run your brush in it and then you brush it all over your face. And um, it says full coverage. I honestly don't know how a powder can be full coverage, but I'm really excited to try this one. In fact, I think I'm gonna try it tomorrow. Um, and I got, you could choose a brush, but the brush that goes with that foundation is this one. And I had actually felt this in like a Sephora before and I thought it's a really, really cool brush because, and it's a very expensive brush for what it is. It's a little chubby little fat guy, right? And it's very dense. You could see like the bristles are very short, but they're very dense. So I guess when you like rub it all over your face, it's specifically designed for that foundation. So I thought, well, better get the brush that goes with that because I want to be able to use it like to its best effectiveness. Um, this was not a thing that I bought, but this is like um, an extra they throw in at the end. So this is one of their lip surgeons lip creams, like a free free thing you get, right? Which is actually pretty nice. It's like a neutral, but and that's gonna actually be pretty nice, I think. Okay, back to what I actually ordered. Um, yes, okay, Lip Surgeon's Lip Tint. This is another one of those. This is in Grateful, which, to be honest with you, I should have ordered a different color. Once I ordered this, I was like, that was kind of not a great choice for me. Which, I don't know how much that's actually gonna do for my lips. I don't know. I'll try it, but I'm kind of regretting buying that one. I think I should have ordered like one of the very dark, you know, kind of sheer vampy ones that they have. That probably would have been better, but I'm not going to exchange it or anything. Okay, um, Smolder Eyes. So one of the eyeliners was included. This is golden black, so I guess it's black with like specks of gold in it. Um, wow, I didn't realize it was going to be like that chubby. So that's what it looks like. Oh, it's very smooth, like very creamy. It is black with specks of gold. Can you see the specks? It's very subtle. It's not like chunky glitter. It's very, very subtle. So that's actually unlike anything I own. So that's pretty cool. And then I've never tried this mascara before, but I know tons of people love it. So I was actually really excited to get my hands on it. It's the Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. I'm not going to open it yet because I'm still working through some other mascaras, but I think I am very eager to try this. It will be one of the next ones I open. Um, they also gave one of their little foil packets of the Maracuja oil. Tell me how to use this, you guys, because I'm not really sure. I know people can use it on their face or on their hair. Tell me if you've used it, how you like to use it, because I've never really, like, I don't really use oils in my hair. My scalp is really oily to begin with, so... Okay, and then I got a blush. I have so many of, because I bought the Holiday Blush Palette, I have so many of like the Amazonian Clay blushes that I decided to go with this one, which is a Maracuja blush. And this is in the color Shimmering Pink. I did swatch this once before, honestly, because I couldn't like wait. Okay, so this is almost like a cream blush. Like when you touch it, it feels very like super, super creamy. But I think it just goes to powder once you put it on. So, I don't know. I am going to have to look into that a little bit. But it's a very pretty color. Right? That's beautiful, right? So, I'm really excited to use this. And that's it for my haul today. This is the haul time of year for me, to be honest. Because in November, you've got the VIB. You've got Black Friday. My birthday just passed by. Um, it's just a very holly type of year. Holly, get it? Okay, whatever. Um, so you're going to see some more hauls coming tomorrow. Stick around because there's a big surprise on my channel. And other than that, if you got this far, thank you so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe because the thing coming tomorrow, you're going to want to be a subscriber for. And that's it. So thanks for spending time with me today. And I love you guys. And I'll see you later. Bye.